What's up guys, Judo Sloth here and today we are revisiting my guide for how to funnel troops in Clash of Clans. This is the most important part of any attack. If you do not get this right, you will not succeed. This will be basic for some of you. I'll start off with this war attack and then break things down in friendly challenges and show you some examples of what happens if you do not create your funnel. Then we'll finish off with a few more real war attacks so you can see it in action. On a basic level, funneling is controlling your troop AI. Troops are drawn and will target the next nearest structure. So what you need to do is take out buildings, destroy them, to create almost a V shape or a funnel where no matter where you deployed your troops within this V, they would be drawn in to the same building which is left standing, which would be the next nearest structure. For example, you can see in this replay that a couple of minions have created a huge gap over on the left, so the queen will not be drawn to the spell factory, she's going to target the cannon and move in, and they've also created a gap on the right here, so that will make sure the queen continues to walk forward to the defences because they are the next nearest structures, and this gap will also help with Valkyrie deployment in a second. We want the Valkyries to target the air defence. They'll then move forward to the wizard tower and set off the double giant bombs. You can see that all of the buildings on the outside of the base within the close proximity have been taken out. This means that once we open up the wall compartment, the Valkyries will naturally be drawn straight into the air defence. Had we have not taken out these buildings, the Valkyries would be constantly drawn around the outside of the base because each building on the outside would be the next nearest structure and the easiest for them to get to. However, since we created the funnel, we were able to control the Valkyries into the centre of the base so that they could take out the components that we wanted them to. You can see how important it was to control the Valkyries into the middle to take out them objectives. So let's break this down inside Friendly Challenge. We want to target the Town Hall and send all of our strong troops into the middle of the base. If we just deploy them at the top, you can see they'll be drawn to each one of these structures on the outside because that is the next nearest and the easiest for them to get to. What you tend to have is a circular ring around the base made up of trash buildings and unless you break this ring, the troops will constantly keep moving to the next building on the outside and then you've lost them, they don't go where you want them to. So in order to control that, we need to take out some of these buildings and break that circular ring. You also want to leave buildings standing, almost like a trail of breadcrumbs of buildings into where you want them to go. This then uses the troop AI in terms of targeting the next nearest structure to your advantage. You can see that if we aim to take out all of these buildings on the outside, the troops will funnel in towards the laboratory no matter where I deploy them inside that V. At its most basic level, that is what funneling is. The troops will then be drawn forward to the next nearest structure and will move to the Dark Elixir storage and then into the base, exactly where I want them to go. Now let's first show you what happens if we don't create that funnel. If we just put all of our stronger troops in at the north here, we cannot control them. It's very unpredictable and as much as some of them might make their way into the centre, there's no guarantee as to where they're going to go. Sometimes you may get lucky, but you're leaving it down to chance. Most of the time, you will lose troops on the outside. You can see the P.E.K.K.A. on the right hand side has already gone. There's no real way on bringing that back into the raid. Once you've lost the troops around the side, it is very difficult to bring them back in. You have to break that ring further on, but then they're already further around the base than what you wanted them to. So he's constantly drawn around the outside of the base to the next nearest structure, as was the king on the left. However, if we place a golem further down on each side, and a few wizards to take out them trash buildings, you can see clearly that the laboratory is left standing by itself, and all of the troops will be drawn to that, and then down to the Dark Elixir storage. Now I could have been quicker in opening up the wall compartments, but it doesn't matter. Because I've created that funnel, you will see there's no way for these troops to go other than into the centre. 
So all of the strong troops have gone into the middle of the base exactly where I want them to. There was almost a straight line of standing buildings where they could move from where I deployed them in a linear fashion straight down to where I wanted them to go. So creating your funnel is not just about taking out buildings, it's leaving some standing in order to draw your troops in. In most cases, as soon as you've created your funnel, you want to then deploy your main army because you don't want your wizards or whatever troops you are using to create the funnel to move and destroy the buildings that are drawing your troops into where you want them to go. And likewise, the more DPS you have on the map, the better you can protect your other troops. So your main army will be coming in as your golems are distracting and taking out defenses. You've just saw from the direct comparison how important it is to create that funnel. But don't rush. Timing and speed will come Make sure you get the basics down first. If you try to rush and haven't broken that ring of buildings, the troops can be still drawn off in the wrong direction. Let's take a look at another friendly challenge example. In the first raid, we used golems to distract and wizards to take out the buildings on the outside. Sometimes, you may not even need to distract the defences. Some buildings are able to be sniped, so minions are also very good funneling troops. However, you can use just about anything to create that funnel. Baby dragons are also a very good choice, and in this example, we use them to start creating the funnel. And then you can see the mortar here is the building left standing, the jump spell is in, so the troops will then be drawn to the archer tower, and I can very easily control where they're going to go. If you think of it this way, we attacked from the northwest side, and we wanted the troops to be drawn in right through the centre of the base. We therefore took out buildings on the left and the right sides of that northwest area, and that narrowed the channel. There was only buildings left standing, moving through the centre of the base, so there was nowhere else for the troops to go. Here's another example against the same base if we were to just throw our troops in. You can see one pecker does actually make their way into the base, however the other and the king have decided to go walkabouts. It's very difficult to correct this and have them enter the base. They're stuck on this outside circle. Even if we were to break the ring and send them into the base now, they've already entered the base at a different area than what we wanted them to. So take your time, scout the base and find out if there's any buildings you can snipe off, and then work out which buildings you need to take out, and which ones you need to leave standing, in order to control your troops in towards wherever it is you want them to go, whether that's purely the centre of the base, the town hall, maybe a specific air defence, it is the most important element to any attack. Now there are also defence targeting troops, and you may come across bases like this, which aim to send your troops around the outside ring of defences and other buildings for that matter and stop you getting into the core of the base. And I know I have a wide variety of troops but you can still get the idea. You basically need to break the ring not just of buildings but of defences as well so that your troops won't be drawn around the outside. If you create a big enough gap on the left and the right and still leave a trail of breadcrumbs in the middle, you can still control your troops into the core. Let's share with you one more example on a similar design before we focus on some funneling examples inside war attacks. You can see this is another base where the defender wants my troops to go around the outside and is going to try and stop me getting into the core and to where the town hall is. Even though I've created a straight path with jump spells into the middle, all of my troops are going to be drawn around the outside because I haven't broken that ring of buildings. They're just going to move on to the next nearest structure, which is right next to the one they've just taken out. And they're not going to take that access through the jump spells. You can see on the left and the right, they just move all the way around the base because I didn't create that big gap as I did in the example before. So I hope that's summarised funneling for you on a basic level and if you have any other tips please drop them in the comments below and likewise if you have any other questions following the video drop them in there and I'll try my best to help. But let's check out a few war examples where funneling was successfully used to set up an attack and help achieve the three stars. 
So if we think about the outside ring of buildings, we want to stop our troops walking around the side here. So we're going to take out the buildings on the left and right. We can snipe some of them off with minions. And then we're going to use this compartment here in order to draw the troops in. Once we have controlled our main army into that compartment, they will move forward into the core of the base itself. So let's check out the replay and we can explain to you the funneling as it happens. I would recommend starting off with your sniping troops. These will be minions or archers in order to start the process of taking out them buildings. They don't do as much damage so you want to get them in first to give them a little bit extra time and on top of that you don't want to be using your troops that will take damage from defences before you need to because as much as you need to use them in order to distract for say wizards to create your funnel you do then want to use these as part of your main attack as well. So as much as it doesn't take you long in order to set up the funnel you do have to try and get the timing right so that you're not wasting health on your troops but also you're being quite efficient so as soon as that funnel is created and that compartment is open the valkyries are in they're drawn straight into the buildings there and then they will move forward into the core of the base and funneling is very simple but had we have not done that you can see just how different this raid might have turned out. Now it may not always have to be a lot of buildings. In this example, one baby dragon is used to break the circle around the base and it means for this queen walk, we can control where we want her to go because the buildings to the north of her have been taken out. So the nearest structures are the ones down in the south. So we can control the direction of the queen by again breaking that ring of buildings. Although we all know with that increased range, the archer queen can be a little bit temperamental. Mass attacks are very popular right now and a basic funnel is all that's needed. The queen and healers to the very north take out buildings in that area and a couple of bowlers with healers take out the area further to the east. This will help control most of the remaining bowlers into the centre of the base. The queen walk in itself can be used as part of a funnel. In this example, I take out the northeast area of the base and then I do bring in giants to distract along with a couple of wizards to take out these elixir collectors and then I can be guaranteed to bring my Valkyries in and send them straight into the center of the base. Once I have that compartment open, the nearest structures and what they will be drawn to are all of these buildings within the two compartments. A jump spell then provides access straight into the core of the base where the town hall is. So that wraps up this guide on how to funnel your troops in Clash of Clans. I will bring a lot more attacking basics guides, breaking things down on a very simplistic level. Let me know down in the comments if you found this video helpful. And as I said earlier, please provide any tips that you have which you feel I missed that may help any other viewers. So that finishes it up for this one. I've been your host Judo Sloth. Make sure to subscribe for lots more Clash of Clans guides. And until next time, peace out guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.